Yes, he won. Sorta. Ben is not dead, but you, know, you take your victories where you can get them, you know? In this chapter, I felt depressed for, uh, for Sanjin. It appeared as if he was pretty close to Juha Bak, and it'd be bad for the story if he got the Juha Bak before Ichigo did and, and beat everybody. <laughs> because it did. Because it'd feel like, man, the story's not about Ichigo. It's about soul society, you know? It's, and it sucks because it's such a great power. I think in theory, if your Bunkai disappears without you releasing it, it's because you're dying. And that's what's happening to Sanji. And I felt depressed because his Bunkai fell to its knees and then began to disintegrate. Nevertheless though, I was anxious the entire time to see if any of the Stern Raider were going to come to finish up Sanji. And look who comes, his vice cap. Don't remember his name. He doesn't really fight. Sorry, don't care. But it was cool to see him come and, and pick him up. I don't believe he's actually gonna go to Juha Bak. They would both get destroyed. I hope he's not going to Juha Bak. That's, that's, that's in my heart. I hope he's going somewhere else to heal up and then hide. That's the best thing to do. Hide. I know the thing is that I, I, they don't know who's coming, but I hope they hide for a while. Now, what's weird though is I didn't. I could never have fathomed Sanjin turning into an actual fox. And when his grandfather said you turn back to your original form, it makes sense if you look at Sanji's grandfather. Because look how he looks. How did Sanji get his look before when he entered the Goti 13 and he was a captain? Like how did that look happen? If there's a process, can you go back to being that way? That'd be awesome. I hope there's something that he can do. At least my Yuri, I hope my Yuri can do something for him. Anyways, in Sanjin's state, it's better to be a fox than to be dead. Th those are good cards. However, though, I wish his power wasn't short-lived. You know, at least get. At least I wish he got. I don't want him to get killed. So I guess that's the only. That's the only logical thing to do is to strip him, strip him of his amazing power. Like what happened with Ichigo when he when he beat Aizen. Speaking of Aizen, right? Do you think if Sanjin had this power when he was fighting Aizen, he could have beat him? It would have been one great fight, but I still would have gone with hell no. Aizen. But if Aizen, could, yeah, Aizen probably would have locked you in a cage or something, then you can't escape. And Aizen's a boss. So Sanjin's grandfather says that revenge is what their clan is made for. What I'm, and what goes in my head is that they must be the Shinigami version of hitmen. So I guess they probably take out, you know, assassinations. And maybe that's why they were banned into the animal realm. Speaking of animal realms, I wonder how many other realms there are. And Sanjin's grandfather thanks him for sacrificing his heart specifically for him. And if you, you clearly look at the chapter, he's swallowing the heart, or at least he's licking it. But I wonder what is the benefit for Sanjin's grandfather for having his heart? Do you think he, he gets to turn back into human? He gets to turn back into a Shinigami? Or there's another benefit that we're not gonna know like you answer some some questions 12 more pop up Kubo so on my last bleach video uh, I thought Bambietto was gonna get beaten and I was right but again though as I said in my previous video as well the stern Ritter are not as interesting as they, they made out to be in the beginning all she does is throw out Rishi bombs, and that's that. In real life, it's fucking frightening. She had no titled moves, which I wish there was like, you know, like Rishi bomb explosion or something, some cool move. I'm thinking right now it's not good, but I wish there was a titled move, like Burner Finger, you know, the heat signature move. Or at least I wish the fight lasted a little bit longer. Wait, one more chapter. I, I could have stayed one more chapter of this fight. It would have been interesting. Now, even though I believe the Stern, most of the Stern Raider are not interesting, what happens to them when they're beaten and still alive is interesting because Bambietta is now surrounded by four Stern Raiders and she seems more scared of what's going to happen to her after she's been beaten more than what was happening. Well, she was frightened when she was fighting as well. As well. Death, no matter what form it comes in, you're always afraid. But if you recall, when Ichigo fought his first Stern Ritter, the letter J, when Ichigo released his Bunkai, the letter J was being outclassed 
in every category. And he contemplated at a moment of calling for help. But then he thought about uh, the consequences and he said, it's not worth it. So whatever is not worth it is actually is what's happening or what is going to happen to Bambietta. I tell you, I don't know what it is, but I, I know it's far better. It's something worse than having your letter taken away from you, I'm, which I think has you being stripped of your power. It must be very painful. Something worse than death. And at the end, you finally see two badasses falling through the sky. The cool ass coats on. I wonder what they're hiding under there. I wonder what that chick with the long black arms gave them. What kind of robes. Like, do these robes even power ups? But you see two people coming through. You see Renji and you see Rukia. And you know, they finally can see Wanderak because society has been replaced with Wander Rock. I don't think I'm saying that right, but they fall through the sky and oh man, they look badass, man. And I wonder what kind of powers they have. So it looks like Rukia and Renji have a head start on Ichigo, but Ichigo's super god or super Shinigami now. And it, so Ichigo's super Shinigami now is gonna catch up to them in probably like three hours or four hours later. I'm assuming Kuchki, the other one, the brother, is going to be the last one there. And I don't know if whether if Renji's going to fight Asnod or not. It, it makes sense, but it would be cool to see if Renji just destroys Asnod. It gives gives you gives you an expectation of how strong Byakuga is going to be when he gets down there. Or Ichigo. <sighs> well man, well, this chapter was good. Like I'm an easy guy to please. Like I just like I just like reading the manga. I just like it. I don't give out grades or nothing, but man, read it if you can, man. Read it. Nothing beats reading it. It's cool just to have the discussion. If you guys don't talk about anything, just you know, write it down in the comments below. I always reply. Deuces.